Well, hang on, hey! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Happy hump day, Miss Vims. How are Happy you? Happy hump day. You shouldn't be telling our dear listeners what day we record this shit on. I don't. I don't know why this you shouldn't be telling them. This is just a particular them, but... day. I mean, I mean, it's not like every time we record it on a Wednesday. Today is just today, so I said happy hump that, day. That's true. That's true. That's true. How are you, dear? How are you? <laughs> I'm pretty good. I'm uh, making my way downtown, walking fast, <laughs> starting up. <out. laughs> I'm doing okay. How are you? I'm, 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 I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm, I'm doing good. <laughs> Got it. So, sounds like you are doing good. I'm doing (laughs) good. good. I'm doing good. And you're full of clam dip is what I'm... (laughs) Full of clam dip. Oh, Fish stew. So, let's see here. What can we talk (laughs) about that's going on in the world right now? Let's see here. Is there anything exciting going on in your little realm? Uh, nope. Oh. <laughs> Not really. Uh, um, wait, there was something that interesting. Uh, hold on. There was something interesting that happened. Dear um, listeners. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, uh. Oh, I've got something if you don't have anything. No. So a funny thing happened to me yesterday. So I went to Joanne's Fabric, as you do. And, um, I went to go pick up some fabric that I ordered. And when I got there, she handed me a different bag that was fabric that I ordered. And I was like, what is this? And she's like, oh, that's your order. I was like, no, it's not. I ordered some fabric. And she was like, no, you didn't. And I realized that I forgot to actually place the order. So I was still sitting on my phone waiting to be ordered. So that was how my day was yesterday. Here, I was going to get ready to talk about Cecily Strong's, like, uh, that is her last name, right? I'm not crazy. Oh, the clown. Yes, yes. Her, her like, right. magnum opus. And you talk about fabric from Joanne's. <laughs> you asked me. You asked me what's been going on. That's, like, the weird, I mean, that's... I thought that was kind of weird. I mean, I, I is, legit thought for sure I'd ordered it, and that, yeah. But I've 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 been a little scattered this week, to be very honest. With oh, you. I have like, been too. I've just been it's just been one of those weeks where like my brain's in a million places. So we, we recorded we recorded baking yep. sugar, one of the most important episodes ever, and it it just sort of that set the tone for the entire week, hasn't it? Oh my gosh, is that what did it? <laughs> It maybe was. I was trying to figure out why this week's been so weird. Dear listeners, if, Aww, if, if, if you... That's if, a, if anybody... Dear listeners. Dear listeners. It, we, 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 we make another podcast called Baking Sugar, and we reviewed the monolithic HIV episode of uh, Designing Women this week. Um, it really has set the tone for the whole week, right? Like... Are you still there? Yes, a lot. It's just been. I'm here. Yes. Okay. Okay. You you're you're lagging. You are really lagging. Let's both turn. You know what? Let's do something that we've never done before. I know, right? That's the look I expected. Let's turn off our cameras and see how that goes. This probably won't go well at all. Okay. Now talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me, talk to me, let me, oh, I was going to sing that R&B song. Come and talk to me, I really want to meet you, can I talk to you? I really want to know you. Better? Oh yeah, I'm just going to let you go, but we're turning back on those cameras because I can't deal with that. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. Wow. Oh, 
Oh, dear listeners, I think it's time we got this episode. What do you think, Mame? I'm down. I'm down if you're down. This is season one, episode three, Deadly Lady. Oh, yeah, I'm glad you wrote down the title because I forgot to. Deadly Lady! Da, 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 I thought when I first heard the name of the episode, I saw it on there. I was like, this could be a good duet between like, if it, cause you know, taking place when it took place. I was like, this would be a good duet with like kiss and share, you know, yeah. like a, a song called deadly lady. Yeah. So we start with the weird that. preview. And as I remember correctly, uh, murder, Wait. she wrote, always had these silly previews before them. Right. Yes. And I yes. don't know why. Like, like it's very, very weird because they're giving Always. away a lot of the episode in the first, like, minute and a half. Well, remember, though, this was an 80s thing. This was a Murder, She thing. There were lots of shows like this. Magnum P.I., A-Team did it. Lots of shows did it. Yeah, it's it's just very, very weird. Very, very weird. <laughs> It's very weird. <laughs> well, it's probably because it kind of almost it almost ruins the episode. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like like it's it's so why are we gonna ruin this episode? Why why? Why? I think you know, okay, so this is what I think, right? This is my rationale for this is the eighties. Remember, we still actually had uh, a lot of people that were housewives and uh, you know, people like that that were like taking care of the house. So I think those preview episodes were like how you decided if it was going to be a listen in the background or actually watch it. And didn't didn't this come on at like seven o'clock or some sort of time slot like that? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Still, that's when Sunday night at eight o'clock on CBS. Well, it's seven o'clock Central Time, so people are cooking. So they could just watch that first few minutes, cook, and they catch the end of it. Dear listeners, in case you are of a certain age and don't know this, back in the day, they used to list every television show by their Eastern and Central time for some strange reason. Well, no, it's it's like my husband from Milwaukee, um, he said that it was fantastic because he could watch the late night shows at 11 at 10 30 to 11 30 like no, i mean it's good, good for them i'm sure yeah yeah yeah, no, yeah I mean, it's good it, for them it doesn't matter at all for us but it was always it was just always so weird because i was like don't don't people in the central time i mean it's not like right it's not like uh oh murder she wrote you know a sunday 8 p.m eastern 7 p.m central they used to say that kind of stuff all the time and i'm like yeah. don't people central time already know what time it's coming on there I mean, maybe not. I, <laughs> I mean, maybe for like, I don't know this, maybe football games, they just say it's coming on at this time. Oh, football games. Yeah, I I don't know. I don't think I've ever sat down and watched it in a football game. So there's a huge storm. <sighs> Oh, we're back on the episode. I was like, wait. <laughs> the electricity is going out. <laughs> Jessica is ty- attempting to type her last three paragraphs. <laughs> oh, that storm, that dreaded storm. And Oof. then Ethan Crass, Crag, Ethan Crag, cut visits. What, and this, how about that name, right? How about know, that name? It's a great name. And he's the one who calls the storm a deadly lady. I know that he's not British, <laughs> but how much better if it if he came he's like, this storm, she's a deadly lady, Jessica. Deadly lady. I think, well, no, because then it would have turned into a love story. Because that, that, you know, that would have been a perfect love story at that point. Oh, I I think I think they had mucho chemistry. Oh no, I totally I wrote that at the end of my notes. We'll get into that later. Okay. Um, <laughs> all, of the, all 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 of the euphemisms that they keep throwing around. Yeah. Um. So we find out that there's a 
boat in the water. These fool people, these fool rich people decided to be on Not a boat just in the a water. Boat, a yacht. A yacht. A yacht. And they called in the Coast Guard. So, so this storm is odd because they're up in Maine and hurricanes don't usually make it up this far. They usually go out to sea by this <laughs> point. Like it, yeah, it's not anymore. It's not anymore. Not a. No, you're right there. Global warming is real, people. <laughs> you know, maybe this oh, no, was. We just, lost, we just lost Texas. We lost Texas. We didn't have Texas for this podcast. That's the other. We've got. Oh, we've got sorry. Wisconsin oh, cool. for this one. Um, <laughs> cheese curds. <laughs> They're so good. Have you ever had cheese curds? I have. I, I didn't. Have. I didn't know. There's have a place you... here that makes them. Oh. Well, they're better in Milwaukee. No. Um. <laughs> I can't. I mean, I can't disagree or agree since I've never been to Milwaukee. Have, have you ever been to Chicago? Nope. Have you ever been anywhere in the Midwest? Uh, Indianapolis, Indiana. Why? You asked the question. What do you well, mean why? My now, brother lived there for like four years. Which brother? My oldest brother. Oh, right, right, right. You don't right, remember? Right. I vaguely. That's where he lived before they moved back to Statesville. Vaguely. That's where vaguely. they came from, from when they came back when they came back to Statesville. Look, I, I know he's your favorite person. He's your favorite person. <laughs> Look, I I I only know of uh, <laughs> Big Sister Mame. I know where she lives. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, big sister, babe. How you doing? Hey, girl, girl. big sister, babe. How you is? <laughs> she ain't even that big no more, girl. She done lost all that weight. I know, I know, I know. No she's more. she's tiny, big sister, babe. <laughs> right? Yeah. She is a. She quarter, got a big attitude still, though. She's a quarter of the look she used to give you when you were younger. <laughs> <laughs> Which is still more than I can muster. So yes. There so we now we're back to the episode. <laughs> <laughs> and Jessica's jogging. She's jogging. She's jogging. Running running for her life again. Running for her life. And she she she, she goes to the port. And she's like, How are the fish? And they're like, Fish are great, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan went out to go get them people in that yacht, ma'am. Um, <laughs> I'm enjoying all these voices that I'm sort of doing poorly. The, I'm telling you, it's the best thing ever. It's the best thing ever because it's like uh, it's like it's like drunk history. It's, it's like somebody recalling Except something very bad. Thing. I am completely sober, y'all. I am stone sober now mame I, stone. I noticed something on your on your on your uh facebook that i would like to talk about before we we, we meet ralph um okay sure I, I i i i i was taken aback have you partaken in edibles oh yeah a good couple of times yeah oh okay i didn't know what i didn't what? know i didn't know <laughs> I didn't know you used to be so pure of heart and mind and body and soul. I was, but to be very honest with you, I don't really like them. It wasn't, it doesn't really do any, I mean, it, it did stuff, but I was like, eh, this isn't for me. So, um, yeah, back to alcohol. You prefer the meth, don't you? <laughs> um, <laughs> the mescaline. <laughs> Oh God! That's a definitely masculine. Anyway, Oop. so I can be so masculine when I want to. Yeah, girl, butch it up as you flip that hair back and forth. You whip your 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 hair. Back Who would have ever thought that that the Willow would have had turned into the journey that she's turned into with that punk album? Wow. I I, I didn't even know she had a punk album. Okay. Okay, Willow Smith. And it's great. It's actually it's actually great. Like it's really quite good. So uh, Jessica's jogging again. Yes, run, Jessica, like the wind. 
and now she's back home and yes, there's just there's somebody trimming her bushes <laughs> and it's not, not a euphemism, euphemism. <laughs> not a euphemism <laughs> Or is it? Or is it? And he, he's like, ma'am, you've got some weeds here, and I'm just an honest person, and I just, I work for, I work, I will work for some food. I just noticed this. Why are you doing this? This, one does, this guy doesn't have a southern accent like that. But I can't get rid of my southern accent. <laughs> oh, sorry. I, I thought you were putting was, one on. Girl, that was just my voice. <laughs> I bet you were putting one on. I was like, wait, he didn't no, sound like that, did he? That was just the voice. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know whether I should thank you or say fuck you, but either way. <laughs> okay, I'll give Ralph oh. a voice. Ma'am! No, you don't have to. Ma'am! I'm just, I'm, I'm not a hobo, ma'am! No, he actually says he's been hoboing. Oh, that's Remember? right. I've he's been like, hoboing, ma'am! I've been hoboing. She, she decides to make him some eggs. And bacon. She didn't say bacon at first, but there was bacon there. There was definitely bacon. So he works for what he gets. Bacon. And then, so they sit down and they have a little conversation. And she says, You're full of clam dip! <laughs> because he, 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 she notices that he used to wear a watch and his clothes are impeccably tailored. I, I, I didn't see that, but I didn't I'll either. take her word for it. Maybe it's harder now because we have HD television. So to us, we're kind of like, uh, that's from Kmart. But maybe back then when things were a little bit blurrier, they were like, oh, that's Brooks Brothers. The Kathy Ireland Collection. <laughs> I knew her name was going to show up today sometime. I knew it was going to show up. Dear Auntie Mame was shopping at... Where were you shopping? I was at Home Goods. Okay, and she found Kathy Ireland... Bless her. Bed sheets. Bed sheets. I did not even know... With a picture of Kathy Ireland that had to be from the mid-late 90s. They also had UGG branded bed sheets as well. Were they leather? Like what? What's what's it? No, they weren't. It was very strange because, like, I saw, like you know, like you see something sometime and like you have to do that double take because you're like, did I just read that correctly? So like, so the reason I, I like to go to Home Goods during seasons because I like to go buy their bed sheets and make dresses out of them. I know. And um, as a as yeah, and so I was like, I walked by the UGG packet and then I, I like stopped. And I was like, wait, did I read that correctly? And like I turned back around. I was like, yes. Uggs is making sheets now. What were, and, were they? Were they like uh, uh, sheepy? Like, do they have the like the sheep fleece no. stuff on them? They're kind of like a microfiberish kind of consistency. Oh, I hate microfiber sheets. I hate them. Yeah, I just feel like I'm slipping Maybe around too. in bed. <laughs> hey, like, you don't need to be too in that girl. <laughs> this size, once you get momentum going, you just fall right <laughs> off. <through. laughs> what happened to the a- hole? He was. He was sliding around in bed and opened up a vortex to hell. <laughs> Where was that Buffy episode? <laughs> I don't know. They didn't have microfiber sheets back then. <laughs> Dear listeners, this seems like a perfect time to mention our Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> we have a Patreon. Please support us. At patreon.com backslash Vince and Matt. I'm not, but damn it. Backslash you slay me. Backslash you slay me, not black slash. Backslash black you slay, slay me. Why do you keep saying that on these episodes? What is it about me? What is it about this particular one? You don't say that on the designing women, what? 
Yes, we got so many pages to go through. So that's many. your that's your own fault. That's your own fault. I don't take that many notes. You do. Well, somebody's got to keep track of where we're at. Do we? Yes. Yes, dear listeners, hang on our every word because they ain't watching the shit. <laughs> Although we would like it if you would. We would love for yeah, you to watch Yeah, we'd love if you watch, watch it. It's on, and it's on the Peacock app. Uh, Peacock, Peacock app. app uh, it's, it's, it's free, right? There's some commercials, but it's free at least. I buy it. Cause I, I can't, yeah. I can't, I can't. The commercial, I can't, I can't. Okay, calm down, girl. Calm down. Calm down, girl. I can't. I can't. I can't. He's retired, and he just wanted to he see is. the United he... States. Yep, that's why he's hoboing. That's why he's hoboing. <laughs> so Jessica gets a call. My favorite extra murder she wrote character. It's the sheriff, played by Amos, played by Tom Bosley, who you may know as the dad from, from Happy Days. Yep, if you are under the age of thirty-five, probably not. Well, someone died. Say what? And it's peculiar. Oh, why is it peculiar? What's happening? Maybe. Murder peculiar. Not murder! Murder! Okay, this is when things get a little awkward. It's because Jessica's like, she's like, I gotta go. And the <laughs> Ralph is like, uh, well, I guess I'll go outside. And it was, it was a very awkward exchange where she's like, yeah. Because remember, she like paused and she's like, yeah, it might be for the best. I was like, what is happening right I now? Mean, you don't know this person. She just let this weird man who was barely trimming her bushes <laughs> into her house. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, and he this showed place her has... all of her. <laughs> now, so here in problems. the South, here in the South, when somebody comes by, Looking at your weeds until you've got rotten uh, wood in your house. You get out a shotgun and you tell them to get the hell off your property. It's just like when that meat truck comes around that has extra meat. You do not buy it from them. Oh my gosh, the frozen meat truck. Oh man, I remember those dudes. I forgot all about that. Yeah, that's horse meat, yo. (laughs) Mm. So we, we, we're we're now we're now back toward the shore at, at the right. at the port, and we find at the harbor, yeah. I guess it is, and we find out that Stephen Earl has died. Oh no, not Stephen Earl, the famous makeup guy and actor and actor. Oh yes, I forgot about that. And, yes. and, and actor. actor and and actor. That seems to play more in this than anything that has to do with the makeup. <laughs> I know, but that's all I focused on. <laughs> so we, we, we meet we meet his daughters. We meet Nancy ready? <laughs> the designer. We meet Maggie, <laughs> the house frau. We meet Lisa <laughs> Shelby. Lisa Earl Shelby. The rich bitch. Lisa Earl Shelby girl. Get that right. And Is we she meet really Gr- rich though. Mm. We meet Grace Earl. I didn't catch her former last name. The divorcee who has not seen her ex-husband in four years because he just disappeared. Yes, I just put Grace slash abandoned. Because <laughs> she was just like, she said, she sounded like, girl, this didn't just happen yesterday. Come on now. Oh, Lord. You should have been moved off with your life by now, Andy. You Isn't that gonna, right? You should have packed Isn't it all in. Right? Go you ahead are... and get yourself a little side piece. You are you are rich. You own a yacht, right? Uh, and you're so, sitting here talking about this man that left you four years ago. So she pulls them into the fish shack to have a conversation with them. <laughs> More <laughs> euphemisms. <laughs> so it was about. We find out that it was about midnight. The father was yes. topside. A wave hit, mm-hmm. and he went over the boat. Yep. Yep, yep. 
the sheriff. Sounds sounds believable. Sounds very they, believable. They, they, they they want they want to go ahead and get a coroner's inquest end all of this, um, but the sheriff refuses until he has a body. That Tom Bosley, he knows something's up. He does. He does. <laughs> so so Good then old Amos Bosley. <laughs> then they leave, and and Jessica's like, oh, I'm forgetting my. Yankee hospitality. Yankee, Yankee hospitality. I'm like, what is what what is Yankee uh, hospitality? It doesn't exist. That's not a thing. That's like, not a thing. Like what? Nobody says that. No. My family are Yankees. Nobody says that. No. Every family, every family member I have that is a Yankee is like you got an hour or maybe two to be inside my house and then you gotta go um so 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 she she invites him over to their house they're like no 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 and then one of one of the one of the uh daughters i believe it was nancy no not nancy uh grace was it grace or maggie i can't keep track of them says we aren't upset he ruined all of our lives Pretty much. So he was a bad father. A bad yeah, should, No, bad Nobody father. is sorry to see him dead. No. 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 I'm sure I'm not because otherwise we wouldn't have this episode. Page two. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, I've been on page two of my notes. Oh boy. Well, I mean, I mean, that's that's page. I, well, do you count front and back as each a page? I'm on my iPad, so I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't. Do you? So on your iPad, do you type it or do you handwrite it or how do you do with stylus? I use, I use a voice to text and just talk at it. I would love to watch that crazy go on. Jessica! 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 <laughs> I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying what I do. I've got a question for you. Are you familiar with Beth and Jessica? Beth and Jessica? No. I'm going to send you a video. Okay. And you'll just have to watch it. That's all I'm going to say about that. Let's continue. Okay. Jessica's back at home. And she gets a phone call. From the oh. operator. Oh. There was a call to Paris. So Jessica finds Ralph outside in her hammock. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> the slight video delay with you winking made that so perfect. Are you sure it's video delay, not just me? Oh, it may be you. Are you having a stroke? You're having a stroke, aren't no, you? No, no, no. I don't smell bread. We're fine. So, so she's like, I oh, well, you call, it was $9. You call Paris. That was a really cheap phone call. <laughs> and he's like, no, 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 no. It was Paris and hockey. Why is he British now? What's I happening? don't know. Apologize. I'm losing voices. I think I've got Jessica's though. I think I've got Je- I just use my Queen of England voice. Fuck <laughs> this. I think I've like, got Jessica's set. Like Other people. These transient <laughs> hobos. You just they and he's an actor, so he could have any voice. <laughs> and a good actor. Oh. We find that out later too. He's a very yes, good actor. Yes, he was a good he was he a was good a actor. Good actor we are but, not you cannot besmirge this man's memory he was a good actor so ralph goes inside he sees a pipe and jessica just gives it to him <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome for that <laughs> Oh, gosh. <laughs> this is, this is oh, going to be a little God. too much of a 
160 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica's going to have a lot of sex. <laughs> so much sex. This whole thing is nothing but symbolism with Jessica having sex everywhere. Oh, so, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. So, so we, we take a little aside. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. And in flies Lisa's husband, the worst actor. <laughs> <laughs> he is awful <laughs> and he looks like he looks like an 80s version of mark mcgrath from that from that band too i was like he looks like oh mark McGrath he was oh like 80s god what, yeah. what was their song um um did i ever tell you that i saw the dude from smash smash mouth so drunk at a concert he nearly fell off stage when he was singing all-star no did you hear he just recently retired because he's so incoherent he can't keep doing the songs well you know the dude from blues traveler was arrested because he was he was such a gun-toting maniac that he threatened people and got arrested uh, i wish i wish i wish that wasn't true and that makes me a, that makes me kind of sad because i mean that's kind of like they seem like such cool dudes back then didn't they so now we're back at jessica's Oh, man, and Ralph is like, I'm so sorry, Jessica. <laughs> I'm sorry. I must wither into the evening, Jessica. I may return. I may not. Shall I leave the door open, Ralph? No, Jessica. People in these small towns, they talk. They talk, dear Jessica. They talk. Someone give this bitch a schlosker. <laughs> Somebody give him a schlosker. <laughs> you know, dear listeners, this is a pleasant time for me to remind you that I do, in fact, do voiceovers. Yes, if you if you want to use this to the best of your ability, all of these sounds that just come out, a plethora of seven, just different voices. <laughs> <laughs> right Although, now, unlike, the, um, the ch- unlike Hank Azaria, <laughs> I won't be a racist. <laughs> That's true. I think it's uh, great, though. No, I actually... Oh, wait. Uh, Miss Mims, uh, I actually have a call right now for you. It's from the Tourette's Association of America. They are looking for a new spokesperson. I don't have Tourette's. But I do have a story about somebody with Tourette's. <laughs> oh, no. No, no. no, it's not bad. <laughs> So, so I, I, I was, I have a friend, um, he, he's, he's got the muscular kind of Tourette's where he just like does a little oh, shoulder, yeah. shoulder shimmy every once in a while. Nothing major. Um, mm-hmm. luckily. And like when we were sitting on a plane, I noticed, I, I looked at him, I didn't know he had Tourette's at the time. He's like, yeah, Eric, I've got, I've got Tourette's. Did you not know that? I was like, no. He's like, yeah, I wish it was the more interesting kind where I'd like cuss you out every five minutes. I was like, damn it. I'm 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 done. I'm Did done. Did you tell him that he could do that anyway? You've been doing it your whole life. My whole life. My whole <laughs> life. So Jessica's <laughs> washing the dishes as you do. She, as you do, right? Because that's what and you do when you're running a house. Then she sees something and knows something. Really? Yes. I think we skipped a part. No. 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 We skipped over the. We, didn't? No. Are you sure? I think we yeah. skipped over the false. The false. Didn't that happen before now? The, the false, false confession. What? No, no. This is we're getting to that. It's my new, my notes are all over the place. Yeah, that's that's why you gotta trust my notes. That's why I did this. <laughs> that's why this is my job, not yours. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I tell the story and you comment and I do voices. This is our job. This is the lot in life you've decided on. I didn't decide this. Fate decided this. Chowder houses. <laughs> this was decided 
Oh, what, 20? Uh, no, 36 years ago at Fort Dobbs, Fort Dobbs during the hospital picnic. That's what God, I wish this. somebody would write the story, The Curse of Fort Dobbs, about the, like, a ghostly <laughs> fort comes out once a time, and then, like, the, these, these French and Indian war uh, people come, no, which war was it? It was French and Indian War, wasn't it? Maybe, Do we still call it the French and Indian maybe War? Maybe that can... I don't know. Maybe that could be the plot of Hocus Pocus 3. Ugh. <clears throat> Ugh. Ugh. So she runs <laughs> to go see Ethan. Yes. And then, then like, she, she, goes does... d- she goes down into his boat. Please help me, Ethan! Please! <laughs> Dear Ethan! What? Oh. Help me! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> So, oh so she draws a circle on a map, and that's supposed yes. to tell us something. It is. We should we should know immediately, actually, but we don't. So now, where we, they call the sheriff, and we're somewhere. I don't know exactly where. <laughs> somewhere, <laughs> somewhere, we're somewhere in Cabot Cove. Um. And and we we find out that they were in the eye of the storm. That's right. And they're like, no, no, someone killed him because you were in the eye. <gasps> what? It's the eye of the tiger. It's the cream of the fight. You say the queer of the fight. I think you said the queer of the fights. I said the cream of the fight. That's what I always thought it was. But I don't know if that's the actual word. Because cream, cream of the fight. cream of the fight? <laughs> Girl, it sounds like a porn I like. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> what studio would that be? Hmm. Uh, <laughs> raging bust men something? <laughs> I don't <laughs> Raging bust man. God, could you? I'm raging. I'm raging. I look at me. <laughs> Dear listeners, oh, this has man. been an episode of. <laughs> which, which one are we even doing? Making. Baking slay me. You, you slay me. You slay me. slay me. That's right. And we're supposed to miss our Patreon a lot, so we've got a Patreon. Um, <laughs> that's what, So, oh dear listeners, the people at Patreon say to literally name drop Patreon all the time. Like, they say to continuously throw it out there at you so that you will throw money at us. I don't think that works. But if it does... It hasn't worked so far. It hasn't worked so far. <laughs> I'm just saying, it hasn't really... Nobody's, nobody's even thrown, like, a penny at us, so... so uh, yeah. Maggie admits to the murder. She does. Oh, Maggie. We hey, Maggie, I got something to say to you. No, no, Rod Stewart. Go back in your crypt. Oh. <laughs> All of the sisters get away. Up. Back away, Rod Stewart. Back away. No, no, Rod Stewart. No. Ah! <laughs> Those zombies just have the hair. They're all yeah. great with that hair. <laughs> and really tight hair. jeans. God, oh for gosh. the longest time, oh. for the longest time, just, just on looks alone. I would get Barry Manilow and Rod Stewart confused all the time in the eighties. They look well, they had the same they had the same hair back then too. Yes, yes, yes. God What did you it was... call that hairstyle back then? What was that even considered? <laughs> I don't even know. The more I think about it, I'm like, what what were they doing back then? <laughs> Hairspray. Um, so the sisters are all like, she, it's okay. You know, like he deserved it. That's right. (laughs) Yeah. We, uh, we've made a consensus. This guy was the worst. (laughs) The worst. So So we don't blame our sister for killing him. 
so th then then Jessica and uh, Ethan go downstairs in whatever set we're on, and and the newspaper person comes in. Fresh off the presses! Fresh off the presses! Because that's a thing, somehow. Yeah, well, yeah. And, like, he's got the story wrong, obviously, because he just said that the guy drowned, not that he was murdered. And he's got a picture, yes. picture of Stephen Earl in there. Oh, I wonder if that that seems, like, relevant to this story. It was Ralph. <gasps> what? Yes. 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 So that means that Stephen Earl's not even dead. Bum, bum, bum. So, Jessica, Jessica and Ethan that run to Jessica's. Hair. Huh? You did that all on, you did that all on good pitch. That was good. Thank you. I, I, do, I do have good pitch. Not as good of pitch as your old choir professor, choir person at the high school we went to who said she, she had perfect pitch. You know, when I was in college, every student at the music school, all, oh, I'm they sure. all said they had perfect pitch. Everybody sure. had perfect pitch, apparently. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm Ooh. sure. I'm Ooh. sure. I'm sure. I, 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 I'm sure. <laughs> so, so Jessica and Ethan look for Ralph. Ralph doesn't believe, or, or Ralph, God. Ethan does not believe her that Ralph was there. I be, let's be honest here. Ralph and Ethan could easily be the same person. It's true. It's true. But 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 Ethan did say he was an actor. That's right. He, he was an actor. So so they go searching for him. They can't find him. Yes. Where the next day at the beach, there's some children oh, with the, the dog. Beach. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. Kid at the beach, that's so nice. Yeah, they're playing fetch with the dog. The Aww. dog looks freaked out. Oh. Oh my god, there's a dead body. Oh my god, there's a dead body. It's Ralph. No! and Jessica they can't consummate their relationship so now flash forward we're at the morgue <laughs> yes. with that mortician that they got I know right like yes. like he perfect absolutely perfect perfect, perfect. <laughs> um it's Earl and the, the 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 sheriff's like there will be an autopsy there will be an autopsy. Dear Will listeners. Be an autopsy. Dear listeners. <clears throat> Will be. This is the part of the this is the autopsy. part of the show where if you had contributed some Patreon dollars, we might have been able to afford Goodbye Earl as far as music rights. No, we <laughs> but wouldn't. You didn't. Are you crazy? <laughs> that is Here, Maybe I, like I, the Starlight Starlight Starland vocal bands version of it. I, I I'll do my version. Earl's gonna die. <laughs> and, oh my god, it's like they're in the room with us. What? Was that Natalie? Oh wow. Hi Natalie, nice to meet you. Earl. <laughs> I'm running out of voices. Are the twins here too? Did the twins what? come with you as well? That's awesome. I hope the twins are here. That would be so great. Oh, they're not. Uh, okay. Uh, no. Thanks, no. It's, it's just, it's just Thank Natalie, you, Natalie and she's Thank you, gone. Natalie, for stopping by our podcast. Thank you for well. stopping by our podcast, <laughs> Natalie and the chicks. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what, 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 where, where are we at in this? Oh, so the, the, the family <laughs> leaves. The family leaves. And she, they're all standing out there. And Jessica's like, can I go in and see him? Um, And all of a sudden, this car comes flailing up the dr up the driveway. Spins around, <laughs> and it it's so Harry. Much. Everything. Oh. Nan's ex. <laughs> of course, Harry. He's is back. it Terry or Harry? It's, it's Terry. Terry. It? Terry with a T. Terry with a T. Yeah, not, that was masculine. Not, not name Harry back with then, an H. Remember? 
What? No, no, Terry was masculine back in the 80s. Remember, that yeah, was a masculine. It still name. is. It still is. It still is. It's one of those bisexual names. <laughs> Not a bisexual. Are there other, what are some other bisexual names? I don't know those. Uh, oh, Carol. Um, Terry. Um, oh, God. What was, what was the name of that? That dude, he was a couple years older than us in um, Aaron, except they're spelled differently. Oh. Um, <laughs> <let's see here. laughs> you said dirty. <laughs> um, let's see here. What else is there? Uh, Jennifer. Okay. Jennifer's so, not a I know, name, I know, I know, I know, I know. Although every Jessa I've ever met is bisexual. Ooh, I don't think I've ever met a Jessa before. You, you've never met a Jessica who goes by just Jessa? Oh, like, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. I've, 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 met, I've met like before. two or three and they're all. Why, why was it necessary to take out the ick? I mean, it's not like a, it's just ick. Like, do they not want people to say ick? I'm pretty done with this conversation. Let's move on. Okay, sorry. sorry. <laughs> so, so Jess, Jessica goes in, uh, Jessa, we'll call her Jessica because I'm sure she's a bisexual pioneer. <laughs> Je- Jessica goes inside and the, the morgue, the, the mortician's like, doesn't he look peaceful? No, he don't. <laughs> I, he looks dead. <laughs> I don't know why that I just made it dead costume. common, but here we are. I don't either. I mean, you also turned the the examiner into the Godfather. So it's you true. Know. It's true. It's true. <laughs> so now we pan to the hotel. God, there's a lot of panning and a lot of moving, dear listeners. I apologize if you're getting whiplash. Yep, it's like Batman sixty five all over again. So. The the uh, Shelby's. You may remember Lisa Shelby, the rich one, and her husband, the bad actor, are having an argument. Yeah, concerning really argument. money. He's like, yeah. "We're getting a hundred million dollars. That's a lot of dough. If we yeah. eliminate, quote unquote, the <laughs> other people." We'll get even more money. <laughs> and she looks considerably concerned. Because he said eliminate. As she would. And as her dad's been 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 murdered. Been murdered. And he's murdered. like, no, honey, no, I don't mean eliminate. <laughs> I can't believe your mind would go there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh huh, and my dog is barking too, which just makes it better. Great, thank you, Irene. <laughs> I should call her Doggy Mims, shouldn't I? <laughs> doggy Mims. Oh my God, Doggy Mims. Oh God. So we we, we now go to the sheriff's office, right? Yes. Where where, where mm-hmm. they say that the dad is dead, the body rolled up. And Maggie is really surprised. Yes, she's like, what? He can't be dead. What are you talking about? He can't no, be dead. No, no, that's not her voice. Okay, I you do her voice. I, I didn't go <laughs> <laughs> You gotta get real house foul with it. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I didn't kill him. I, there's oh no way God. we staged it. <laughs> oh, so we, we, we find out that it was all a setup to try to get Nan's horrible boyfriend Terry out of the woodwork. Like they were gonna fake his death, and he was all of a sudden gonna appear, and they were gonna be like, "Ha ha 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 ha!" <laughs> Terry, you're bad. Yes, this is all to <laughs> Terry. <a> terrible person. <laughs> oh uh, man! Oh. 
So, so Jessica's like, of course she didn't do it. Like, I bet you, I bet, I bet, I bet he has the pipe. Because she gave him the pipe. And he did what? have the pipe. What? God. That's, be that's because she gave it to him because that actually was the guy. Yes. So now, <laughs> God. We're going to the hotel again. <laughs> yeah. Is there always Back this much the movement in the show? Yes, it's a part of the show. Yes, it's actually a big part of it. I hope Jessica doesn't actually write like this because this is this is like a master class <laughs> now not to write. <laughs> hey, hey now. This is um we need lots of locales because we have to balance remember Every episode is going to be filled with a lot of characters, and they can't all be in the same location, so there's a lot of bouncing around. Wait till we have another episode where she goes on, like, a trip. Those get real fun, because that's when they start bringing out some real uh, guest stars. I get so excited when I know she's going on a trip. Oh, I love it so much. So, Jessica is at the hotel. She asks... Mm -hmm. what. Wh if Terry is there and the hotel lady's like, no, Terry and Nan just left. Ugh, just miss them. Just miss them. So then, then they start, she leaves on her little bicycle. <laughs> Are you calling her a witch now? You're calling her a witch? I made bed knobs and broomsticks. Oh, that's true. She is a witch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so th th there's a car, and the, like like Maggie, they let me out of jail. <laughs> Will you stop with the sling blade voice? This is really disturbing me right now. <laughs> Thank Good you, gosh. Oprah. <laughs> wow, like this is really insane. This this voice, it's very disturbing. Oh God! Um, so they let her out, uh, and then the bad actors like, <laughs> butt out, Jessica, <laughs> butt out, butt out, please, butt out. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, I need God. you to I need you to take the bad actor moment and just make it into a ringtone. I feel like just him <laughs> laughing. I need that for a ringtone. I don't even know what I was doing. Is that what I was doing? <laughs> 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 oh, I can do that for you. <laughs> Uh, uh, dear listeners, if you want that on your Patreon, I can do that. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> so now we pan over to a graveyard because that's where I want to go to feel comfort whenever somebody's died. I mean, that's that's where some people go for comfort. Right? Okay, I guess. Well, Terry's you know walking along with an Huh? I know that. I, sorry, my brain was you, wandering out loud. Usually, usually you don't you don't go there until the body's actually in the ground, though, right? Oh, that's true. There's that is that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Terry tries to convince Nan to marry him. That's all you gotta say is shaking your head, right? For real. Don't do it, girl. You endanger Don't do girl. It. Don't do it. You endanger girl. <laughs> so, 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 Je Nan walks away, and Jessica just looks at Terry because, of course, she's there randomly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's always there. Who killed Stephen Al? Because I know he called <laughs> you in Paris. <laughs> so we find out we find out that Terry flew down yesterday he stayed at Portland Nan was there 
because Maggie told her to come up there and he'll be there. And they met yes. the day before in Portland. I assume Maine, because if it was Oregon, that's a big, long trip. <laughs> ah, they don't specify, though. They don't. They, they don't. don't. They don't specify. I think a lot of people forget that there is a Portland Maine, to be very honest with you. I know. I know. I know. It, it's it's the largest city in Maine. I know. I know, but I think people... It's got like 50,000 people or something like that. Okay, maybe 100,000, but it's it's not... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So now we're at the sheriff's. Because yes. Jessica needs to talk to the sheriff. And there's a woman who's doing a voice I won't even try to do. Because it's like... It's... Hey, how are you? Oh, oh. It's, it's like Mae West, but like... Yankee, yeah, it's not, it's, it's, it's not hilarious. Cute. It's not cute. It's, it's it's not cute. She Jessica's like, "Where's the sheriff?" And he, she's like, "No, I can't tell you. The sheriff doesn't want to be bothered." She gets a phone call. And she's like, "Well, you know, the sheriff's been trying to get in touch with you. He's been at the beach all day." And then Jessica bolts out to the beach. Yes, I actually, I mean, I personally, I put. <laughs> <laughs> I literally put down lady cop. I love her. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, yes, yeah. she's her like cracking the gut and everything. I was like, yes, yes. Ah, uh, so now we're at the beach, and yes, Fred has found some pink heels. Oh, are they kitten heels? <laughs> no, <laughs> actually, yeah, they were. They were. They were kitten heels, weren't they? Yeah. And one was a flat. Because it lost the heel. Hint, hint. <laughs> yes, Jessica leaves real fast to go find the heel. Oh, 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 oh. And she goes and looks in the rocks. And it's like, it is. <laughs> yeah, magically. Jessica, Jessica somehow just keeps stumbling onto these things. Just like, you know, just like it's there. So she knows. we now That's, because she did it because, she, <laughs> because did she did it because she did it for love lost like like he he told what her he I didn't did love her love, what I did for love <laughs> you're, you're you're missing the right song <laughs> tale as old as time which Strong one's the beast as it can be. It's Bobby, Jessica, right? She's the beast. Even friends. Then I didn't think Ralph was that beautiful. Spends. Unexpectedly. Uh, okay, I'll stop. <laughs> but who? You won't, it, but it's was, fine. was that was that Peabody Bryson and Celine Dion? Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, not to be confused with Peter Bryson and Linda Ronstadt for, uh, Lord, girl. yeah, I know that song. Don't, don't bring, don't be bringing up Linda up here because you know how we are. We get, we get on that. That's, we love some Linda Ronstadt. I that that is that is one of my um, that is one of my karaoke songs. Love it. Um. Anyway, what where, where was that here? Oh, so now now we're at Nan's hotel room. And she's searching for shoes. She's searching for her shoes. I know. And she's frantic. The, she's frantically searching. And the sheriff's like, are these your shoes? <gasps> How did you know? Well, try them on, Nan. Try them on. Oh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll go ahead and try them on. They fit. They do, Nan. They do. Well, obviously she did it. No, she didn't. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Of course not. Because Jessica did it. But we should take her in. But keep this evidence confidential. <laughs> More nose tapping. More nose yes. tapping. <laughs> yes. So now we're back at the sheriff's. 
Nan's in the slinger. And Terry comes in. Yes. yes. He heard that his woman is in jail. And she could... There's no way she could have done it because the murder happened at 10. And the 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 sheriff's like, well, it could have happened as early as 7. And y'all could have left from Portland, come back down, killed him and gone back. Yep. And you know, accessory to murder is a big deal in the state. It basically gets the same lo- crime level as a murderer. And Terry pieces out. <laughs> right. There's like bye. <laughs> and Dad comes out and he's like, Do you hear that? She's like, Yeah. He's goes bucket. <laughs> yeah, we know, and this entire thing was done because trying to prove that to you. <laughs> the whole thing. Last page here. Last page, y'all. <laughs> Last page. <laughs> okay so now we're back at the hotel the earls are partying yeah man they are getting down they are getting down even maggie um (laughs) so jessica's like they arrested nine and jessica wants to search all the rooms Lisa's like, nah, bitch, I'm good. Get a warrant, you can come in and get to see my shit. But otherwise, no, ma'am. Yep. But then... Very suspicious, the, very suspicious. The other ones are all like, yes, yes, of course you can. And uh, Maggie's like, I don't wear pink, but I use <laughs> What are you doing, Dad? This is so weird. <laughs> you make a voice like this before it's so weird <laughs> it's the only one you haven't stopped doing successfully <laughs> it's because it's the easiest one to do that's frightening that's frightening it, that's well you, all you do is you you sink yourself down and like is that a this. euphemism <laughs> no euphemism. no that's actually not <laughs> so maggie jessica leaves And she hands Maggie a bag. It says, give this to the sheriff tomorrow. And she stands there looking very forlorn and kind of confused and kind of vacant. That's just just staring off. Oh, that's true. Never mind. (laughs) So now we're at Jessica's and there's been a break in. (gasps) Someone's breaking into a house? Yes. Yes. And Jessica just says, well, that's not very thoughtful. <sighs> I'll have to get that pain replaced. Uh, uh, so it's Maggie. And she's like, I know I screwed up because I said I don't wear pink. And I, 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 I didn't know the shoes were pink. And now I know the shoes were pink and they're pink. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> ah, oh god! Ah, this is so weird. So Jessica's like, no, no, no! I knew it was a frame all along. Um, how did you know that? Y- deeper, deeper, deeper. Uh, oh, how? How did see, you? How did see, you? See, know? see, you gotta see, Glenn. <laughs> It's, it's oh. back here. It's back I here. It's I back get here. it. I get it. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my gosh. You did know. Papa sang tenor. And Mama sang bass, did you? <laughs> Probably on the same album. Oh, yes, they called in the street. Wee! Wee! <laughs> Rest in peace, Ray Stevens. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Ray Stevens. Oh, uh, where are we with this? Oh, right. So, Maggie just is like, 
uh, Jessica knew she was setting her up, you know, set Nan up, sent her to go see him, even though she knew the, like, to give her an out, that she falsely said, yes, she did the crime, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, under the guise of Cupid setting her sister up. Um, yes. And Maggie's like, I hated him. <laughs> he he, he <laughs> like was him. constantly arguing. It was horrible. Um, well, I... I... And, Yes. What is this shit? I wrote it down. She says, "She's like, I, I cater to his every, every, every issue, and at the end, the only one that got love was Nan." Nan. <laughs> <laughs> you would, th- you would think, right? I mean, this uh-huh. is me once again. She could have just left. <laughs> like, she could have just been like. Peace out. I'm going to go have my own life. She could just kill Nan. Shh. That would have been the obvious murder. <laughs> I need that so, obvious so Maggie's like threatening her and be like, we'll just make it look like a burglar happened. Burglar happened here. Jessica's like, well, first of all, burglaries don't happen in Cabot Cove. Second of all, <laughs> exactly. I've had the sheriff on the phone this entire time. And bitch, you screwed. <laughs> I mean, at this point, I mean, it's just, just me, but I would have been so angry that I wouldn't have even cared if I'm already going down for one murder. Why not uh-huh. just take out this lady, too? So, the, uh, we're, the next day, Nan's leaving. Yeah. Jessica's giving her some oh, advice, wrote, like, what? I wrote down on here, um, just, just for anybody... Um, make sure to pay attention to the taxi driver's eyebrows. They are amazing. <laughs> they look like two albino caterpillars that are running free. Fantastic. <laughs> so then Ethan Ethan shows up and he offers to take Jessica bass fishing. <laughs> Not a euphemism. Not a euphemism. Well, I don't know. Because then she's like, He's like, well, are, am I going to have to bait your hook again like I always do? And she's like, yes. I was like, Ooh. Oh. End of episode. <laughs> End of episode. <laughs> I know our, our listeners are like, is that it? Is, is that all of it? Yes, that was it. Yeah, that's that it. it. And that's all one hour and seven minutes of us talking about oh, it. Man. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. I told you. I told you, talking about it is much more fun than watching it. It really is. <laughs> like, this is a nut. It is such a, it's a ridiculous show. So, you know, I've had a mad up, day. I, I had a mad day today. This made it better. Yay. Uh, so, so I, do, we, I, do we both agree that Jessica did it? Yeah, Jessica did this one too. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, I personally think. She gave her cards away when she magically found those shoes. Yup. 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 That's exactly right. Just like, what? Uh, Jessica, how did you how did you stumble onto those little pink shoes on that sandy beach all around so the rocks? Who do you think Jessica was in love with? Was it Ralph or was it Ethan? No, I think this time she definitely wanted to go to a uh, bone zone with Ralph. Um, you know, she gave him that pipe. She was like, I want you to put your mouth on it. Right. I, I, like, I disagree. I, th- I think That's she liked thing. the fish with Ethan. I, th- I think she, I think she, well, she wanted her beta with Ethan. Well, here's a, th- here's the thing though. Right. Oh, so, like, Ethan, Ethan's you know, constant. Ethan's exactly Ethan is the constant so Ethan and her have a very open relationship so whenever there's a new guest star in town Jessica can have her way with them once they're dead she goes back to Ethan (laughs) she's like a succubus except all of her victims are old already and and the only thing that regenerates is not visible to the naked eye (laughs) Well, this took a turn. (laughs) 
So, so, babe, babe, do you have anything else to add about this episode? If not, I say we wrap it up. What do you think? No, I, I thank you, dear listeners, for listening to you, Slavey, a Murder She Wrote podcast. Uh, this has been a fun, uh, a fun night. Uh, you can find me on uh, social media at auntie.main. That's M-A-I-M, like murdering. Uh, and you can find me in real life if you're ever in Miami Beach visiting every Thursday night. I host Amazing Colossal Karaoke at Kill Your Idol on Miami Beach. And I'm the Divine Miss Mims. You can find me at Divine Miss Mims on Twitter. Um, again, we have a Patreon. Patreon.com <laughs> backslash you slay me. Throw us some some anything that, anything that, that dirty maggie money um <laughs> i want you to say hold on before we go before we go hold on i, I need to write down if it's more than like two words because i'll forget go no on. it's not it's not it's not it's not with that voice i want you to do that commercial where he says roll that beautiful bean footage roll that beautiful bean footage <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Okay, and uh let's see here. You can follow this this podcast at you slay me pod on Twitter. Um I I I think I think we've done it. What do you think, Mame? I'm tired. <laughs> Say goodnight, Mame. I'm so exhausted from laughing. Good night, Mame. Bye y'all. Oh no, where's my mouse? And <laughs> <laughs>